Hello, beloved. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, bringing you spiritual truths through poetry. And my purpose is to encourage, uplift and inspire you to be your best for Christ. I'm here again today with more motivation on Monday. That's M-O-O-R-E motivation on Monday. And the poem for today is from my book, Oasis for My Soul, and it's entitled The Magic Eyes. And this poem is about gratitude for the things that God gives us. In honor of the Thanksgiving holiday, the magic eyes. Lord, give me magic eyes to see all the good you do for me. It's easy to see what's not going right and ignore the things that are in clear sight. For all the positive things you do, O oh Lord, I should be thanking you. For every coin does have two sides. The same is true when troubles arise. Whenever there is unpleasantness, there's also evidence I've been blessed. If I had the magic eyes to see that I would see things differently. Your protective hand is held back disaster. My negative thoughts I have to master. My outlook must change. I know it's true. I need to express gratitude to you. But the negative seems so big in my mind. If I look really hard, I'll always find that the good far outweighs the bad. But I take that for granted. And that's really sad. I need those magic eyes, dear Lord, so I can be obedient to your word. I must find something to be thankful for. I won't complain and open a door for discouragement to come and weigh me down. That's a trick of Satan. I know that now. I need to recognize the good so that I can praise you as I should. I need to notice what's not happening so that I can focus on the positive things. Lord, please give me the magic eyes to shrink the negative down to size. Then I can see all of your goodness. Only then will I see that I'm truly, truly blessed. Praise God. Beloved, gratitude is such a powerful thing. And we need to thank God for what he does for us every chance we get. And here are several tips that will help you to live a life of gratitude. Number one, when you wake up in the morning, before you put your feet on the floor, thank God for taking care of you all night long and express gratitude to him for waking you up. Number two, before you go to bed, mentally go through your day and verbalize to God three things that you're grateful for. You may want to even start a gratitude journal where you keep a written record of what you are thankful for in that day. Number three, when you want to complain, deliberately find something about your situation you can be grateful for and express that instead. Number four. Romans 8, 28 says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. Always look for how the irritations in life can be used to your advantage. And number five, always make an effort to be grateful for what you have. If you are not grateful for what God is giving you already, why should he give you more? So, beloved, if you will simply cultivate a heart full of gratitude, you will enjoy life to its fullest and have a lot more joy and peace in the process. Now, let's go out and make it a good week. And don't forget to check out my blog at TracyLMoore.com. While you're there, sign up for my bi-weekly newsletter. I believe it will bless you. And I pray you have a tremendous week and a happy Thanksgiving. May God bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.